Hello developers, in this video I am going to introduce a new topic called in-app purchases in Android apps. This is the most requested topic by our channel subscribers and viewers. So I am going to make a series of videos on this topic to make it easy for you to understand and implement in-app purchases in your Android app. First let's understand about in-app purchases. In-app purchases allow users to access certain premium features or content or allow users to buy a product or service within the app. Means we as app developers can earn money through in-app purchases in our apps. Most of the app developers using in-app ads for app monetization because of its easy implementation methods. But trust me, if you understand and implement in-app purchases in your app, this becomes an excellent source of income for you. See, currently there are many apps in Play Store offers in-app purchases through their apps. These apps can earn more money than the apps contains only ads. So, in this video, we will explore in-app purchases as one of the most effective model to monetize the mobile apps. Okay. When do we give in-app purchases in our apps? Most of these purchases are based on freemium model. Means you release a free app with limited unnecessary features and provide in-app purchases to access premium content or new features in your app. For example, take a video editor app, you give basic features like editing videos or photos, creating and downloading videos etc. for free. And if user wants to add special effects to the video or premium filters to the photos, then you allow users to go for in-app purchases. So that user purchase that particular feature or product within your app. Some more examples of in-app purchases are purchasing extra coins that helps you in a gameplay, upgrading to the premium app which gives you an ad-free experience, subscribing to a uh, digital content in a video streaming app etc. Ok, now let's see what are the different types of in-app products that we can offer in our Android apps. In-app products fall into two main categories, one-time products and subscription products. A one-time product can be purchased with a single charge to the user's payment method. For example, additional game levels, unlocking the new features, downloading media content, etc. And these one-time products are divided into two types, consumable and non-consumable. A consumable product is one that a user consumes to receive in-app content. Means consumable products can be bought more than once in the app. For example, a user might purchase a stack of coins in your app. When the user completes the payment, your app then dispenses a fixed number of coins to the user. And the purchase stack of coins product is available again for the user to buy more if he wants. But a non-consumable product, when purchased once, it provides a permanent benefit. For example, upgrade to the premium, unlock the next level, remove ads, etc. So once they are purchased, then the user has access to them from all their devices at all the time. Next, subscription products. Through subscriptions, you can offer in-app products that charge users for content or services on a recurring basis. Subscriptions can include items like a collection of apps, games or other content for a recurring fee within your app. And these subscription products also divided into two types, prepaid subscriptions and auto-renewing. In this prepaid subscription model, users are charged once for a limited period. For example, they may be asked to make a 6 months payment for an online magazine. And in auto-renewable subscription, users are charged on a periodic basis until they cancel the subscription. For example, a monthly subscription to a music app or a OTT app. Hope you understood the concept of in-app purchases. Okay. But where do we add these in-app products? What are the basic requirements to integrate in-app purchases in our apps? How do we access these in-app products in our apps? How do we test these in-app purchases? 
these things will be discussed in my coming videos so to get the immediate notification for my next videos please subscribe to my channel thank you